Hello guys, welcome back. So recently I came across these memes and it is very hilarious. I don't know what's the exact meaning of this meme. But as per my perspective, it is saying that hey, if you take admission in IISC for MTech, then your life would be black and white. And also might be a full of struggle or devoid of any fun. But in contrary, if you do your MTech from IITs, then it will be colorful, as colorful as the Barbie movie is. Like you will have all the juice of your life. So this meme is very creative really and it is showing us the confusion we have as a student. Anytime we secure a great rank in our gate, every student have this confusion. Should I go for IISC or should I go for IIT? There are many one-liner answer and that is, hey, if you are focusing for industry, focusing for job, then go for IIT. If you are focusing for research, then go for IIS. But in today's video, I am attempting to give you some fact-based answer to end this mystery once and all. So in this video, we will measure both IIT and IISC. Again, IIT, not all the IIT, right? To compare anything with IISC, IISC a brand. So I'll compare most six to seven top IITs with IISC in the following segment. Like what is the student life, culture there, uh, your placement opportunity, your research, your alumni connections and startup culture. So if you are excited to get insight for this topic, please like this video. And if you are new in my channel, then myself Rajdeep, I work as a VLSI engineer with Intel and I keep on making video on such interesting topic all across the VLSI industry. So to get all the updates, please subscribe to my channel and let's get started. And also full disclosure, probably I will be a little biased toward IIT. So if anybody of you are pursuing your studies, from IISC then you are most welcome to comment down and let people know why they should join IISC then a top IIT. So the first point is popularity. Who is most popular? For sure hands down to IITs. IITs are clearly winner in this segment. Anywhere you go in India or in abroad if you say you are from IIT in abroad actually they don't know about top like new IIT top IIT nothing. If you say hey you are from IIT your respect in their eye will increase. They know how hard you have studied, how hard working you are because you are working for from IIT. In also in India also for many recruiter because in recruiter we have few technical guy who are hardcore. They know about IISC how quality things IISC peoples are. But there are all respect to HR people. But because HR people are not from technical background, so mostly they don't have much knowledge about IIS. So most of the time they just underestimate you from a guy from top IIT or from any IITs. And in general society also because of many other factors, IIT have the glamour. So in your close relatives, in your family, in your society, if you want to get the respect, it just America, then probably IIT is the best option. But I don't think we are too much full to choose between these two options only because we need the respect or it just there are some other category also going to the other category and that is how would be your life after you start your journey in those institutes so the first option like where we enjoy most of our time during a student and those are your first time here also again iit are getting the points because most of the biggest cultural festival in colleges are hosted by IITs like Mood, Mood Indigo in IIT Bombay that is a benchmark for any any college fest. Then we have Randovers in our IIT Delhi and there are many. But having said that it's not like in IISC our lives are black and white as the memes say. In IISC also we have good cultural event and those are like Pravega, Sangam etc. If you are from IIC, please comment down if I am missing something. Students tend to enjoy a lot during those days and if I get any opportunity for sure I'll visit IIC Bangalore during those first time to really explore more like how they are feeling there actually, how the environment are there. But from my own experience in IITs, in, especially in IIT Delhi when uh, our fest was there, the environment was crazy. You can't tell that how much uh, wonderful those three days those three nights are. So for sure if you want to enjoy your life during your those two years of PG or five years of PhD then IITs are best. And why it is like that? Because in IITs we have the BTEC student, we have the undergrad student and undergrad student have lot of time. They have four years to finish their course. In between they have lot of time to do all the extracurricular activity and that's why IITs all the culture fest are commendable are great. But in IIC comparable to that uh, 
all mostly 90 percent of students are masters after having their masters like all busy schedule after that also if they can pull up such kind of cultural event then it is really commendable for them but yeah that's the main reason why in isc we don't have uh, those glamorous or those big kind of cultural or technical event as in iit but we are master student right or you will be a master student and a master student had probably already enjoyed his or her life during his or her btech time right and our main priority are we are in lo love with our subject we want to know more about our subject and to know more depth of your subject you need two things one is wonderful professor who have a wonderful research background and another thing is the infrastructure for research and they are actually iic get their first point they are great because in 2023 actually iic bangalore topped number one in world for citation per professor which means that uh, if a professor producing any journal any uh, technical paper then how effective they are how effectively they are getting cited by other researchers and they are that's why iic's have really a great research environment in their culture only the research thing is embedded so anybody who start their journey there they mostly pursue their research to write a effective paper a effective journal paper which is unlikely mostly in iit in iit there are only few students who really produce a wonderful paper out of their mtech thesis but in iic it is the common practice but again having said that uh, if you want to compare the IIT to I iisc we need to set which iit we are comparing so here i am comparing the most three top iits which are bombay delhi and madras for our electronic students so if you see the data actual data is saying something different and data is saying that iic have a age over other but iits those three ideas are not behind the IISC. To know about quality research, one parameter is always great and that is seeing the number of patents being filed from that particular institute. So if we see around the IISC, then it is something crazy. Uh, this is one of the report and here it is saying that in last year, in every three day, IISC student or professor have filled two patents. It's huge. It's huge. Our IIT top IIT is also not behind. For example, IIT Delhi. It's in 2019. So they have filled 150 patents. And that was the biggest number for IIT Delhi ever. If we go to IIT Madras, then here is the statistics. So they filled in India and filled in abroad. Again, you can see in 2018, it is roughly 200. So IIT Madras also doing great. If you go to IIT Bombay, then IIT Bombay also doing a great job. And you can see the numbers here. So by data we can say that hey in the research iic no doubt have a age because in there they have a culture they have a culture and culture is very very unique thing culture let you do what you don't want to do actually right for example the main difference between like i have done my btech from nit and then masters from iit in iit the culture are fully different in iit nobody will judge you you can do anything if you are studying full day you are studying in the like open uh, garden or anywhere nobody will judge you but in my btech college uh, many people will judge you so mostly you won't do it so that's why culture is very important and for sure if you are serious candidate to do research only you want to pursue your mtech then ms probably from outside or phd from india then iisc is like no-brainer you, you just forget everything all other pro or cons of iits top iits go for iic for sure if you are interested for a job you are doing your masters for job only yes you love your subject but again the main intention behind your going for higher study is job then again here we can say that hey iit like top iit are winner but in the job i think both the institutes like top seven iits and iic have the similar kind of statistics for example if you see here in iisc uh, this is for the 2022 i don't have the extensive data here you can search online but roughly their median salary is 28 l now if we go to some one of the iits for example iit bombay then we can see their median salary is also nearly same see their salary is also nearly same and if we go for uh, what's the mtech because in bombay there are majority are btech like we need to see separate the mtech data also so in mtech data you can see here this is the mtech data 
so in iit 670 student have registered but only 523 got placed so that, that means if you choose iit it never mean that you are done for your job you will for sure get a job you need to do hard work there also and in isc also same same the case mnc knows that isc produce or isc students are best in the country so that's why in job perspective i think both of you should get the same point now there is a part and that is uh, anytime you do your masters or phd you have one task and that is your ta ship teacher assistant ship duty so they are professor will assign you some duty you might need to take the labs for your juniors uh, btech student mostly or you need to conduct the examinations so they are actually iisc get the number because in iisc as i said undergraduate are minority mostly i think less than 10% student are iis uh, btech in ii uh, btech or undergraduate not btech bsc i think uh, undergraduate so all the masters and uh, those people they have really less ta ship in ta ship might be there if you are in your second year of mtech might be you are taking one or two labs in your first year of mtech if you are in phd then you are might be taking some lab for mtech but because iisc don't have undergrads so ta ship is very very less than iit but in iit there are again there are twists and that is there are few centers for example iit delhi from where i did my mtech and that is a center for excellence in uh, applied research in electronics care so there it was a separate department and that department don't have any btech so that's why we that means in our first year of mtech we had no ta ship nothing there are only few here and there like professors uh, assign us work and in second year we need to take one or two left for the first year of mtech guys but for majority of the cases for example i had my roommate who was doing masters from uh, mechanical so he used to go to labs for taking labs for the undergraduate because mechanical department has the ug students so it might be a con for you because you need to spend eight hours something more than that for ta ship in iits but the good thing is that in future if you want to pursue the professorship then this ta experience will really help you next what is the diversity so see for sure here again iit is win because iit have lot of people from undergraduate from masters from phd from postdoc so diversity are huge which is lacking in iisc then we need to see one most important thing and probably for master student it is not a important thing but still the startup culture right and many master stu student or phd student they want to pursue a startup culture or like they want to build something on their own if you are like that then iit are no brainer choose for sure iit because in top 3 top 5 iits the startup ecosystem the startup reach is unbelievable in iisc also there are startup culture but it is no comparable to iits so in general i can say that iits mostly produce engineers and entrepreneur but iisc produce scientists there are exception but in general now the next segment and that is what is the alumni network or if you just search for all the notable alumni of iit and iisc then who are there and here again i think i think like i have the perspective and that is iit is getting the point because if you just see for vlsi uh, who is the inventor of verilog he is the prabhu goel and he is from iit kanpur who is the uh, ceo of google he is from iit kharagpur who is the uh, founder of uh, like grofar or now it's a name change i don't know like from iit delhi only flipkart iit delhi only so they are chief minister of delhi uh, <laughs> iit delhi yeah iit delhi only chetan bhagat iit delhi only and so the alumni network is huge and it is becoming huge because we have lot of iit and and anytime you meet somebody who is not from your iit for example i am from iit delhi and i met with somebody who is from iit kanpur but because it's iit people tend to share something common and that's why the network become big like you can consider whole iit network like all the top iit alumni form a single ne alumni network not so huge for iisc also i was searching for notable alumni from iisc there are many so now there is a point which is uh, i never felt but many mtech people feel uh, who are doing their mtech from iit and that is in iits if you are doing mtech or phd uh, as btech student are in majority you are in minority so most of the time btech student feel you are good for nothing <laughs> they, they they are the top people because they have cracked the most difficult exams they uh, advance 
but for they don't know that gate is also a toughest one uh, you need to learn all the four year of engineering and then write down there but still many many mtech people have the same experience i don't have mostly i don't think so in our college we have but but whenever i see the quora questions or there many mtech people has said that hey they feel like they are second class citizen in the iits but in iisc you are the majority you are the first class citizen i i don't think this is a point to choose between this or that but still it is a factor and also in iisc you have always the motivation to keep on studying in iit is also you have always the motivation to keep on studying but there you also have the motivation to keep on doing anything if you want to dance for 24 hour you have some people who are really dancing like properly dancing for 24 hour if you want to do debating club there are few people like there are like as i said diversity is there because of ug student and because of the huge number of them there are a lot of club you can join any club you can keep on doing anything you like for 24 by 7 so that means when you join iit is probably you wanted to be a master of vlsi design but after going there you might discover some other in interest inside you and you might become master of something else so all the opportunities all the gates are open in iits and in iits that's why people say you get a great exposure to everything but in iisc there are mostly no chance if you go on for master of vlsi you will come out as master of vlsi only 99% of the time because as i said culture is there you need to keep on studying because everybody is studying there are not much fun there are little fun but again fun is less than iit is so what's the conclusion who is the winner actually i lost the track of the thing and that is all not necessary also because both are the winner all depend on your perspective right for me my perspective was that i wanted to be called as iitian i don't know why it's a childish uh, desire but i had that desire and that's why for me uh, if you are like as a big brother if i wanna recommend you uh, then if you are getting a chance to do your masters from top 3 iits then go for that <laughs> yeah it's all on you but according to me like if i am there and as that's why i choose i really but again if you really want to increase your probability to be a scientist to be a great researcher of this country then just forget everything and go for iis so if you are confused in your past or in your future regarding these two choices i think it's a great opportunity to celebrate because you have the option so i hope after this video you will never choose iisc because it will give only you the research opportunity and you will never choose top iits because they will be uh, giving you a great job opportunity but there are something which is for sure give you a great job opportunity and that's our keep on doing vlsi projects check out this playlist in this playlist i'm introducing to you all the free resources ed tool which you can use to do some amazing vlsi projects so i'll see you in our next video till then keep learning smiling and helping tata bye bye